Good morning from Riga, Latvia. Today we are going to show you everything that is recommended by a local. Normally we do all of this research ourselves, but our host actually had a giant list for us and everything sounded so perfect that we're just going to follow that list. There's about 10 things, we might not make it to all of them, but we will tell you every single one of them and it will include a lot of food and a lot of beer. Let's start with lunch, which means first we have to get there. <laughs> the first thing I love about Riga is the public transportation. Each ride is a Euro 15, but a 24 hour pass is only 5 Euros, and that's for everything. All the buses and trams, everything. Thanks. Hey, Paul. See you cherish it forever. Until it dies tomorrow. place we're heading to for lunch happens to be a chain so there's like four or five locations throughout the city the one that we are going to happens to be the oldest and most traditional it's more or less where all of the locals go so that's why we're on the outskirts of town right now it took us like an hour to get here yeah we got a little turned around and lost yeah but this is one of the best places to try a lot of different dishes for an affordable price which is what I'm most excited about all right Nathan where are we at Lido Lido? Lido! Yeah. This is a buffet and I think it's priced by weight besides the drinks, but those drink prices look great and you can get whatever you want. So let's go. The best rule of thumb when coming to these kinds of places is take a look around, see what you want, and then go back and get it. It's nothing worse than having a full plate and going, I want that too. Yeah. I think we got what we wanted, we got a good selection. It wasn't too overwhelming and everything was in English also. It wasn't by weight, all the prices were right by everything so you knew what you were spending and all of this was 18 euro 70. I got two different cutlets, Amber got another fish one with some dumplings, sauerkraut, I got a potato pancake, and then we have two cold salads. I got a beer, this was a Euro 90 for a half liter, that's a good deal. Amber got water to keep things cheap. Difference in opinion, he says it wasn't overwhelming, I was very overwhelmed. I mean there's dozens and dozens of choices and people just go and like they know exactly what they want and I'm just standing there in the way the entire time but I'm still excited with what I chose, although I know I'm missing something important. They had like 10 of these different, what they call cutlets. Some of them were called cutlets, some of them were called meatballs. I got, uh, I don't even remember what they all are, but I do know this one's in tomato sauce, which is why I got it. Very tasty. Tastes like a big meatball. I think this one's chicken. A potato pancake is definitely one that you have to try, so that's why I got that. It looks really thin and crispy. That's the best potato pancake I've ever had. They know what's up. Try amber sauerkraut. This is stewed and cooked. Mmm. Yes. Next, Amber got the only fish dumpling or fish cutlet. That one's good. That one's got a lot of flavor. Can definitely taste the fish. Last, we're gonna go for the cold salads. It's just cucumber and dill. Some kind of dressing, I'm sure. That's nice. I like that. They're so fresh. I love that they use dill in all of this. So your main choices are gonna be some kind of potato some kind of meat cutlet. They had fish, cold salads, and beer. How could you go wrong? It's been my new favorite place. Well, that was a good start to the day. I think some people come here just to have a drink, which is a great idea. Speaking of drinks, we're gonna go grab another one at our next bar. Not just any bar, it's one of the best places to get craft beer in the city, which we don't find very often. That is true. Craft beer is not like in America. Most countries have the one to two beers, their domestic beers, and that's about it. You got Lido right behind us, and our bus stop is right here. From what we've read online, prices could have changed, but there should be dark beer for two euro fifty a pint. And that's what I'm looking forward to. All right, this is it. Valmier Musa. No idea, but I think that sounds good. I was impressed with that. <laughs> right. 209 something. 
That's the funny part when we look at prices. I literally just look at the price because I don't know what it's for. But as long as it's under 10, it seems good enough to me. Okay. If you want, there are like 250 more beers over there to try. So just go, let's just go take a look. What's your favorite? All of them. All of them? Because uh, there are more th uh, than 1,300 different uh, types of uh, beer in Latvia. Um, I already know what I want. So, really? Yep. So, and we can get another one if you want to. Well, I want something else. Uh, dark smoked lager. I like smoke. The quarters are usually served a bit more warm, therefore kind of you heat it to open up the flavor a bit more. I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What a small world. This bartender is throwing out the Griffins and Red Wings. Like, he knows all about Michigan, which, I mean, where are we right now? Well, we have three beers, two different beers. We have a smoked, which is our favorite, and then a porter. All of these are microbrewed here in this restaurant, and the total was 12 euro 70, so they're an average of like four, four euro a piece. I thought they were a little bit less expensive. I think if you carry it out, they're only two euro. First, we're gonna try the dark smoked lager. The smoke flavor is very subtle. I actually wish it was a little stronger. Put the words dark lager and smoke in a beer, that's gonna be my favorite. This is a Latvian porter. Very so good. So we don't normally shout out bars or restaurants or anything, but this place was awesome. Well, we learned so much about Latvian beer and they take their beer very seriously. And then they also offer a beer tour. It's much more than just a pub crawl. It's booked for today, a little out of our price range, but if you love beer and you're coming to Europe, this is the place to go. This has been much more extraordinary than I, I would have expected. Yeah, not only do you get to learn about the beer, but they teach you about their city as well. So you get a full on history lesson and a beer lesson in one. With that said, we're gonna slow down a little bit on the beer and go to Old Town, check out the cathedral, and see the entire city. This is my favorite train ride ever. <laughs> Wow, that just kind of came out of nowhere. It's nine euro to get to the top of this, but if you do get to see the entire city, we're not gonna pay the nine euro. This was one of the things our host recommended to us, but we'd rather spend that money on beer. It's an option, if that's what you're into. Right next to St. Peter's Church is St. Peter Gailis Restaurant. Our host did recommend this to us. We will not be eating there today, but it is one of the most reviewed and well-known restaurants throughout the entire city. All the reviews basically say it's the best meal of their lives. I would highly recommend this restaurant, if nothing else. Perhaps you're like us and you don't wanna to pay to go to the top of a church and you don't wanna to pay to eat in a nice restaurant. But what you will wanna do is go to the largest market in all of Europe. That's where we're heading next. Right next to the main bus station is Riga Central Market. We've passed this thing like five times already. It's hard to miss. I should have known. Obviously it's Europe's biggest market, but there are so many stalls out here that it just keeps going and going. You turn a corner thinking it'll end. Nope. We were told once we got to Central Market we needed to find piragi. I think they are like pork dumplings of some kind. So we're gonna go find those and then you have to find a beer that goes with them. So let's see if we can make this happen. Right now we're just on the outside of the market. We haven't even gotten to the inside yet. Nope. This is Ooh, look at all the leather. This is much less busy than I thought it would be. Although it does look like they have everything here, it's not as jam-packed as any other market I've ever seen. It's like they got the space. There's like nobody here. That's true, it's very empty. Hey, I think this is what we need. All right. Paragu, paragi. Yeah, look at that. 
According to the English to Latvian translation that my host sent me, these are bacon patties or bacon pies. The English translation is bacon patties or bacon pies. Well, so. what could be better than that? They also have Turkish barek, so I already love this place. We literally just picked up this paragi, I think, from right here. And now we are going to Labitis to get some beer. Thank you. Thank you. I like that logo. Wow. It's a good beer. Okay, now for the piragis. Pirag I don't know. Now for the meat pies. We got a sauerkraut and a meat pie, and it's a really bready crust and then a filling. Oh. Dang, that was a big bite. Oh, good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. These are the bad things we have since we've been here. What? That was delicious. All right, let's try the meat one. The dough is a little sweet, but the filling is spot on. I like the sauerkraut one better. These are delicious, and they weren't very expensive. I bet if you ate two by yourself, you'd you'd be full for sure. Looks like a meat pie if I've ever seen one. This is good. This is really good. We're gonna finish looking at this market. I didn't remember this until we came to the fish market, which is closing right now. Okay, we planned this day poorly. But there's four big sections to this market and there is the fish section, there's a dairy section, a meat section, and probably a produce or vegetable area. Well, that was a pretty decent beer. What's up next? Oh. More beer. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Up next is a little bit more beer, but a little more of Old Town. We haven't seen enough of it yet. So we're going to explore Old Town before going and getting more beer. Exactly. Cool. Off to Old Town. I would suggest getting to this market very early. They definitely closed down even earlier than advertised. If you guys are questioning why we're drinking so much today, it literally is because half of the restaurants and anything you see, they're just breweries. Beer is advertised all over this town, so. We've made it back to St. Peter's. We're gonna do a loop and then head to a folk bar. Another thing on the list, they should have some good snacks and good drinks. Surprisingly, the market that we just left was a little underwhelming, but I think it's because we got there too late in the day. There is one more big market in town that everyone goes to, it's the Agen Skåns Market. Don't know how to say it properly, but it's a little fancier, a little more ritzy, and it is a place to go to if you want more unique food choices. And it was recommended by our host. We're not gonna go to it because we chose the big one, but it is an option if you're interested. Heading to the folk bar right now, there was one final thing on our list and that was Galleria Riga. It's basically a mall that has four different restaurants on a rooftop and you can overlook the city, have snacks and beer or just food. We will probably not be doing that. We've had so much food and beer already, but if you're interested and you want to have a nice view and a nice meal, go to Galleria Riga. On that note, we have arrived at our folk bar, folk club Pagrabs. Looks like nobody is here right now. That's all right with me. We're heading in. It is so dark down here. We have no idea if we're in the right place right now. We got a really good beer platter. There's like a little bit of garlic bread, cheese, veggies, meat. Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we will for sure do the beer platter. Yeah. Our host was right. This is a place to come to if you want a very unique atmosphere. It's very cool. Temperature's great. Yes, this is a, a lot of go. younger people, but it's not overcrowded. We have this entire section to ourselves. It's a very big place, and you can sit outside if you want. Yep. Our two beers and snack platter was 14 euro. 
It's better than I think we've had earlier today. I feel like I'm in medieval time. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you oh, very much. Good. Thank you, Joy. We got some carrots, cheese, cucumbers, some sliced meat, and then rye bread with garlic with this dipping sauce. This is the best beer snacks ever. Ooh, and pickles. Oh, yeah. Pickles, dips. This is a perfect snack ladder. This is one of the most perfect snack ladders. I don't ladders. want any more bread and meat. No, it's the perfect amount of bread. You got cheese, you got a little bit of meat, you got your veggies, and it's a good dip. Affordable price. Could today have been cheaper? Absolutely. But are we happy? Yes. You guys might be sick of hearing this, but we are so full and so tired. Oh, baby, I'm so excited to go home. <laughs> like, I'm pumped. It's 7.30 in the afternoon, and this place is starting to pick up. I think we got there at the perfect time. But for us, this is where today ends. I think we always try to find the one thing, the biggest reason why you should visit a city, and today we found out, for Riga, it's beer. It really is. And the food wasn't bad either, let's be honest. I guarantee there is a lot that we missed in the city of Riga, but these were the suggestions provided to us by a local. Coming up, we'll be visiting a farm in Lithuania in the middle of nowhere, and if all goes according to plan, we will be milking sheep. So if you want to know what that's all about, subscribe, follow along, and watch our next video, please. And thank you. <laughs> See you guys. This feels like an art fair back home that they would like put in the hockey rink. Like you just have your stand for a weekend. It's like the most Michigan thing I've ever heard you say. Is that just a Michigan thing? I don't know. <laughs> How many other states have a bunch of hockey rinks that they have art fairs in? Well, I guess ice rink would be the proper term, but yeah.